Hong. Villalon versus Alvarado. For the second women's under 67 kilogram bronze in Taekwondo here at Pan Am Toronto 2015, we're underway. So many of these athletes really know each other, have really studied each other, have faced each other in international competition. And sometimes the less familiar athletes are these very talented Cubans. They don't travel quite as much. There's some countries they don't tend to compete in. They come for the big ones and they come ready. And we've seen a lot of great Cuban performances. Yanya Aguirre took gold for Cuba in women's under 49 kilograms. And Yamisel Nunez took bronze in the under 57. So Villalon looking to be the third lady in three days here to medal in Taekwondo. One minute down. A warning for inactivity to each. You must fight. No points on the board. Villalon looking to be the alpha, alpha female in this one. Alvarado ready to strike, ready to react. If she's pushed out, there will be a point for Villalon. Two warning penalties, two Kyongos. And Cuba scored on that one and got a penalty point. So Villalon up two. The Cuban women have been phenomenal. Villalon looking for bronze. A great turning kick there and a beautiful hook kick to the head. Cuba up by five. Exquisite technique there from Daima Villalon. She's using feints, faking her way and drawing out a response. And if you don't draw out a response and you make your opponent immune to the feints, that may shave just a fraction of a second off their reaction time when you do go for real. Great first round for Daima Villalon of Cuba, 21 years old. Really looking good. That hook kick to the head, that's what we want to see right here. And it's coming. Oh, it was the round kick. Came up and over the left shoulder. Boom. And just dropped it down on the face. Great stuff there. Looks over her own right shoulder. Makes sure there's no more traffic coming. Ready to counter. Villalon, the 21-year-old from Cuba, up 5-0 in this bronze medal contest. So the Costa Rican Catherine Alvarado looking to get on the board, 27 years old. She has a lot of international competitive experience. She got gold in the Bolivia Open this year and silver in the Canada Open. So last time she came up here to Canada in February of 2015, she got silver. Needs to get on the board here or her bronze medal hopes will start dropping. A lot of action. Both trading, but their defense is sound. Points must score to that trunk protector and that uh, colored surface there on the head. Higher points for head kicks. And even higher points for turning kicks to the body and head. Villalon changes the angle, steps around. Showing some quick feints again. A turning kick response from Alvarado. Does not find a home. One minute remaining in the second. The Cuban up by five, and she's taking that alpha stance in the middle, and she's saying to Alvarado, they're having a physical conversation here, and her body is saying, you come on in, you need the points, and I'll be waiting for you. They may both receive a warning. If they do, one point now, one point for Alvarado because of warning penalties. Two half-point penalties levied towards Villalon. 
It is 5-1. Those fakes that Villalon are trying there, they're like flinch tests. You imagine, just a little flinch test, looking for a response. You look for a response, or you create a response. Oh, great footwork there, just change the angle slightly. You look for a response, or you create a response, and if you get no response, well, maybe your opponent will hesitate a fraction of a second. And great round there for Cuba. Great round for Daima Villalon, the 21-year-old, up 5-1. Range, it's about range. The double kick to come in, the double kick with the round kick. Jumping round kick, looking for the spin. Look at the lateral movement. Nobody's home. We're underway in the third. Villalon of Cuba, 21 years old, in control right now, 5-1. Trying to draw out the fire of Alvarado. Be careful what you wish for. Alvarado looking for the head. Villalon knows that Alvarado will be looking to attack. She needs those points. She's ready to respond. Interceptor coming in or block and counter. Slip the strike and spin. Put a lot of points on the board. A lot of options here for Villalon. She feels like the alpha in this one and looks to hook over top. Keeping a hive of bees out in front of the face of Alvarado. She'll faint, change the angle. So glance at the clock and the scoreboard. 45 seconds remaining. And she is being hunted right now, but she is countering. And it is 6-1 for Cuba. As we close in on 30 seconds, you know that Alvarado's coming, and so does Villalon of Cuba. She is ready to counter. She's ready to intercept. She's ready to be defensively sound, find her opportunity, and add points herself. And when in doubt, close that distance. Took a little more time off the clock. Five points down. Quickest way to get points, a spinning kick to the head. But Villalon... 9-1. These last 10 seconds will be busy. Cuba up, and she will flee. She will take that point penalty, and she will get one. It will be 9-2 now because she fleed the, fleed the uh, contest area. Another half point. She's killing the clock. Now she will strike on the way in. Nope. Takes another point, but the clock is winding down. You can get a full point if you go against the spirit of martial arts. But she masterfully kills the clock, manages the range, manages the fighting surface, and takes herself a bronze.